Welcome back to the Costa Rica Daily News segment, where we report the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I'm afraid today's story might be ugly, because what we're going to talk about is going to affect every single person, not just Costa Rican citizens. That's what it's really about, but it is going to affect even you. If you're thinking about coming to Costa Rica, whether a tourist or you've been kind of debating whether you want to live here, it affects you. All that and more right after this info break. When you live in Costa Rica, it's fairly easy to get all of the latest news about Costa Rica. And if I'm looking for rental properties or looking to purchase property, I can find a lot of resources and easily find a place to rent while enjoying all that Costa Rica has to offer. But if you're not in Costa Rica, it can be downright frustrating to find what you're looking for. And the reason is simple. The search engine algorithms attempt to give you the most relevant information near to where you live. Even when you are searching for information about Costa Rica, you only see the large and most popular websites, which mean small websites that have great information normally don't show up. That's why today's video is sponsored by Surfshark. Surfshark is a VPN, a virtual private network. A VPN does a lot of things, including protecting your computer from hackers trying to steal your information and much more. But most importantly, using a VPN like Surfshark will enable you to quickly change your IP address so that the search engine algorithms now think you are in Costa Rica. Now, looking for information about Costa Rica is easy. Click on the link in the description below and see how easy it is to install, use, and then get all the awesome Costa Rica information you want simply by clicking on a button, selecting a VPN located in Costa Rica. Get Surfshark at surfshark.deals forward slash O-G-H. Enter promo code O-G-H for 83% off and three extra months for free just for using the link in the description below. Welcome back to the Costa Rica Daily News segment. Today, we're talking about how Costa Rica will begin mandating the COVID-19 vaccines and how President Carlos Alvarado has stated that by December 1st, there will be no more excuses. Now, don't get upset. Don't turn off the video. It's important that you listen all the way through so that you can get the facts to see, does this affect you? At the moment, it looks like Costa Rica is only targeting Costa Rica nationals. But according to my news sources, that on October 13th, 2021, it was announced that starting December 1st, 2021, Costa Rica is going to require the COVID-19 vaccine in order to enter most commercial centers and to participate in many public activities, okay? Now they did say essential services, supermarkets, pharmacies are not included in the nationwide vaccine mandate. Now, what businesses are we talking about? Now, while this is not an all-inclusive list, what they did say is that the businesses that you will be required to show proof of your vaccination are restaurants, bars, casinos, uh, commercial centers, museums, gyms, hotels, adventure tourism, theaters. You won't even be able to go to church without showing proof of your vaccination. So it sounds like if you're going to be around the public, well, they want you to be vaccinated. Now, they did state that, look, essential businesses. Now, they only listed two supermarkets, pharmacies. Well, those essentials, you have to have food. So to go shopping, you don't have to be vaccinated. To get your medications, you don't have to be vaccinated. And surely there are more official or essential businesses. Surely banking is essential. Surely going to the doctor and the dentist, surely those are essential. But we don't have an all-inclusive list. And we will find out more as they continue to roll out more things, which means, hey, subscribe, hit that notification bell, we can update you as quick as possible for all the latest changes. So right now, 
Costa Rica is reporting that for ages 12 and up, 82% of all Costa Rican citizens have had at least one shot of the vaccine. So, you know, they're pushing, obviously, to get to 100% so that they can keep all of their people safe. Now, what are some of those incentives? Well, the president did state, or it was announced by my news sources, that as Costa Rica begins rolling out these mandates, it's going to ease up the capacity restrictions, you know, for most businesses. And you're going to begin to allow more mass events. They're going to begin to allow more in-person attendance, you know, including concerts and sporting events. So obviously, if everyone's been vaccinated, they're going to be, people are going to be able to get together and do more things without Costa Rica worrying about people getting sick. They're going to have to show proof of their vaccination by QR code, which means everyone's going to have, obviously, some sort of app on their phone. And when they go places, well, they're just going to have to show their QR code. I'm sure that the security standing at the door is going to scan it to make sure that you've been vaccinated. Now, obviously, if you don't have a phone or any high tech technology, you can print out your QR code and you just show your QR code. It will be scanned. You've got your vaccination. You can go inside and you can enjoy all of Costa Rica. Now, in my opinion, what I believe is happening is that they're really trying to take care of Costa Rica. They really want to make sure the Costa Ricans are safe. And by trying to get everyone to be vaccinated, well, they believe it's going to keep their country safe. So will they actually begin to target Tourist later, we don't know, but let's first take a look at the facts and then we can discuss that in just a moment. If you've been following this channel for any time, you know that we are a huge proponent on freedom of choice. So if you choose to get vaccinated, you've done your research, you found out you know it in your opinion for your health, your situation, it's best for you to be vaccinated, guess what? We're extremely happy for you. We believe in freedom of choice. You made the choice to be vaccinated because you believe that's best for you. That's a great thing. On the other hand, if you choose not to get vaccinated, you did your research, you feel like there's just not enough science, there's not enough proof, you feel like maybe there's just too many uh, side effects for whatever reason. Maybe you feel like you're just super healthy, but you've chosen not to get vaccinated. You're not against the vaccine. You've got your flu vaccine. You've got other vaccines, but you just feel like the COVID-19 vaccine's not right for you. Well, we're happy for you. That's freedom of choice, okay? So today, we're not talking about it. We're not debating whether it's good or bad. We're looking at the COVID-19 vaccines that Costa Rica has mandated for Costa Rican nationals. So First, let's backtrack just a moment because these COVID mandates are nothing new. You know, they've been mandating and they first mandated this a long time ago for all their health employees. Anyone that worked with the sick, well, they were required to get the COVID-19 vaccine. You're working with the sick. You might get the virus. We don't want you to spread it. Well, then remember last week or a week or two ago, if you follow our channel, we gave you an update on some recent COVID-19 mandates that required all of their government employees, all the people in the public sector. Well, they're required by October 15th. Public sector employees in Costa Rica will be required to have a COVID-19 vaccine. Now, they took it a step further and said that even private employers, well, they can mandate their employees to get the vax, to be vaccinated as well. However, you know, for the private employers, you're going to have to enforce that yourself. Now, a lot of people, including many who have exercised their freedom of choice to get the vaccine, many don't agree that anyone should be forced to take the vaccine or lose their job. So many people need their jobs and can't afford to lose that income. The government would be taking away their freedom of choice by giving them a vaccine ultimatum. Now, while in my opinion, it seems like Costa Rica is just trying to take care of the Costa Rican nationals, is that what's really happening? Because Costa Rica is really big about 
Purta Vida, enjoying life. The only way that you're going to be able to enjoy all that Costa Rica has to offer as a Costa Rican national, as a Tico, is if you accept the COVID vaccine. And just like anywhere else in the world, there's a lot of Ticos who want to take the vaccine so that they're, they feel safe. But there's also a lot of Costa Rican nationals, Ticos, who do not want the vaccine. But the only way that they're going to be able to enjoy Costa Rica as a whole and everything it has to offer is if they take the vaccine. So it sounds like to me their freedom of choice is being taken away. Now, how is that going to affect tourism? How is that going to affect residents, those people who are living here, all those foreigners, all of those expats that are here? Well, is Costa Rica now going to target residents? Are they going to target tourists once all of the Costa Rican nationals have been vaccinated? Well, we really don't know. In my opinion, Costa Rica has done a lot of things to boost tourism. They've done a lot of things as far as change laws to incentivize people to come to Costa Rica. So will they force tourism or force tourists to show proof of vaccination? Well, only time will tell. But right now, it doesn't look like they're going to do that. They really want to do everything they can to boost tourism. Costa Rica gets most of their tourism dollars from the United States. However, my news sources did say we don't know how that's going to affect U.S. tourists and how they're going to demonstrate their vaccination status. That kind of leads me to believe that, well, are they thinking about requiring tourists to show their vaccination status? Well, if they do, well, that could hurt tourism because, well, there's still a lot of people. And while I don't have the stats, it does look like half the world wants to be vaccinated and the other half doesn't. Like I said before, we believe in freedom of choice. And if some people choose not to and have choose to, well, then half the people coming to Costa Rica that are not vaccinated, if they are required to show proof of vaccination, well, it would hurt tourism. While recording and working on this daily news segment, I've gotten some feedback and some more information on Outlier Legal Services' Facebook page. They claim to have reached out to authorities this morning to clarify how does the mandatory vaccination certificate work for tourists. And they're saying they've confirmed that as of December 1st, tourists will have to use their health pass and vaccination card to be able to enter businesses. You can check out their Facebook page. There's a lot of debate going back and forth. However, everybody knows if you've been in Costa Rica, you can make one phone call or you can make 10 phone calls, ask the same question, and get 10 different answers. The question I have here is, who is the authority that Outlier talked to? Did they simply call and spoke to the receptionist, and the receptionist said, we don't have any clarifying details. Is this for tourists? Is this only for Costa Rica nationals? This news story seems to be for Costa Rica nationals. But this news story is very vague. We don't have enough information, and outliers themselves are not giving enough information about who is the authority that clarified that, yes, this does involve tourists. But the most important thing is how does that affect you now? Well, right now, Costa Rica is really targeting Costa Rica nationals. doesn't look like it's going to affect tourism at all at this point. So time will tell. Come around December 1st, we'll find out more updates by then, and we'll know. So right now, it's time. Just gather your information, and let's find out what's going to happen in the near future. December 1st is not very far away. It is the height of tourism, and that's when you start getting tons of tourists in. So we'll surely find out by then. So make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, so we can keep you updated so that you can get more with the Costa Rica Daily News segment.